guys coming at you with another video today in a slight different setting this is kind of on the top of my steering wheel here actually this works out pretty well except for you'll see me tilt a little bit so hopefully I don't make you dizzy with this video but I uh, just want to say uh, well, I'm, I guess I'm kind of back it's been two weeks but just been busy doing things um, working studying meditating, doing all those good things. Um, one thing that I've been doing lately that's been awesome for me um, as far as exercise, oh shit, <laughs> just flung my phone, um, is biking. Biking, um, the benefit of biking is it puts a lot of less stress on your joints um, instead of like running and stuff like that. Um, you can go greater distances and it's just cool to be out in nature and riding in a bike. I don't know, I, uh, there's something about riding a bike that's a lot more fun than running, I can tell you that. I don't think a lot of people like to run. So, um, one thing I wanted to talk to you guys about that I've been focusing on and practicing that have helped me get things, do a little bit better, feel a little bit, bit better, is uh, gratitude. Um, gratitude is something that I really haven't discussed at all, I think, really, just being, I, I say thankful, but gratitude, um, if you could take, there's, been a few people that I've done studies on on people that were very very stressed and they took kind of these gratitude tests where they focused on you know 10 things that they were grateful for throughout the day um, and you know they write it down and every day they do that 10 different things well you know you could write it down I think that's a good suggestion but I just kind of think of things throughout the day what I'm grateful for and it could be anything from the food on the food on the table. Like, in reality, people could say this, and this is true. It could be a whole lot worse. I don't like focusing really on that fact, though. You know, it always could be a whole lot worse. Um, however, you know, I like to focus because we, as people who suffer from anxiety and depression, are constantly inflated with negative thoughts. I mean, it is so hard for me to stop start focusing on something else. So the way I do that, obviously, is to try to throw curveballs in there and try to make my mind drift a little bit on something that's happy. Um, and it could be memories from the past, it could be future, it could be present. Um, for instance, I'll give you an example. Um, I am thankful that I was able to go to, I went to Avengers Infinity War on Tuesday. It was only $5. I had a great time. The movie blew me away. I had a great experience. It was a really good time focus on that and all of a sudden I think about Infinity War, the plot of the Infinity War, what was said during the movie, you know, kind of the moments in the movie that made me happy. And I think because it was a good time. It was a very good experience. Um, talking in the present moment, I have an example, you know, I'm thankful that I just got back from Costco. I get to eat Chipotle in about five minutes and I am hyped. Oh man, I'm so grateful for that. And I just kind of think about my experience at Chipotle. You know, at Costco, all the things that I bought that I know that'll be super, super good to eat for lunch or dinner or snacks or stuff like that. Um, future, um, I'm thankful for, I'm grateful for the fact that I'm gonna go to Disneyland um, this next February, which I'm super hyped about for a friend's wedding. You know, all those things, like those three things, you know, I'm thinking about Disneyland. I went to Disneyland when I was in seventh grade, thinking about Disneyland when I was in seventh grade. You know, that was an amazing experience. Space Mountain, California screaming, like, it's a great, happy place. I mean, I'm excited to go there and it's something that I'm thinking about right now. Um, and I think that could really, really help a lot of people um, with their stress and issues. Um, especially, you know, if you're one of those people that I, you know, I think about things constantly throughout the day, you know, how I'm feeling, you know, what symptoms I'm feeling. And so, yeah, it gets a little tough sometimes when you feel that way to kind of get on track, if you will, or get to more a more of a positive life. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed kind of this shorter video. Uh, looks like we're at 371 subscribers, which is awesome. I hope you like, comment, and subscribe. I've seen 45,000 views. It's just incredible to see kind of the views I've gotten on some of my more popular videos. I think one of them has over 15,000. Um, and I really appreciate your support. I have been commenting back. I know sometimes um, I don't come up. Please propose a question. I don't really, I don't know how to respond to people that just say open-endedly how they're feeling and stuff. You know, it's tough to respond to, you know. I'm like, okay, well, you know, ask me a specific question, y'all. 
And don't ask me, you know, oh, what's what's the one that really uh, kind of annoys me and is, is really honestly pointless, um, is, you know, is this ever going to end or, you know, is this going to last forever, you know? That, that's that's such a tough question. You can some people deal with this thing for years. Some people end it in months. Some people end it in days. Some people end it for the rest of their lives. You know, that that's a question I can't answer. You know, it's just it's up to you to fix that or change that. Um, it's not necessarily up to you know outside factors. Outside factors play into it, but. It's you that can change. It's you the one that can defeat anxiety. It's you the one that can have happier days, happier thoughts. You can choose all this. You can choose longevity. You can choose a healthy diet. You can choose a happier relationship. You have all the power to do so. You just have to pull the trigger and do it. So I hope you guys have a happy Wednesday evening and uh, peace out. You guys have a great day.